Wow, that is impressive. I have to tell you, I guess I'm supposed to say some things. First thing I have to say, can you all hear me, is how impressed I am with these kids who can pronounce Krzyzewski. <laughs> I mean, it took me 30 years to pronounce my own name. And then I'm in back and they're saying Stiefel and not Stifle or Stifle. I mean, these kids are amazing, amazing. And some of my partners here, I must tell you that you need to not look over your shoulder. You just need to look up on the stage because your replacements are standing right here. So, uh, you know, Annabelle and Soraya uh, and all JA students, thank you. You know, I am I'm honored. I, I really am honored. And congratulations to my fellow laureate, uh, uh, Johnny, Johnny, you know, one of the, one of the things I got to say, I'll just, before I do this, here's the difference between Johnny and I, I want to come back as Johnny, all right, and the reason is, look at your book here, do you have your book, just turn to page like six, and you'll see the difference, because my picture, I look like a corporate stiff with a blue background, <laughs> and Johnny's picture is he's sitting in the woods, having a great time. All right, so, you know, I maybe mean, I do this stupid motorcycle, but this says it all. So in my next life, I'm coming back as Johnny, all right? That's, that's it. All right. So, again, uh, my friends and some family, thank you for being here uh, tonight and sharing this uh, with me. As you saw in the video, you know, my parents were instrumental and influential over my life. And tonight, I, I would like all of you to take a moment with me. Um, I want to honor the memory of my dad, Richard, who passed away late last year, 89 years of incredible life. And so, Dad, I, I know you're up there, and uh, so thank you for allowing me to do that. And my mom, Lorraine, remains the pillar, a pillar, and the pillar of our family. But I want to especially thank my parents for instilling in me the values of hard work and empathy. Hard work and empathy. It's the foundation on which I stand today. As I contemplate the achievements of the J.A. Hall of Fame, I am impressed and humbled by the people that, that stood before us, Johnny, and, and I know you are as well. Uh, yet, as I look over this room, I believe the potential, you know, really lies not with us in this room, but instead these kids, these JA students, that's the potential. You have to believe that. So JA students, I'm talking to you here. What will your future achievements be? What will your legacies be? And what advice could I possibly provide as I stand here today? I must stay, say, there are countless recipes for success, but as my parents instilled in me, these recipes all include, for me, two basic ingredients. And as I've said and you saw in the video, hard work and empathy. Of course, luck never hurts. 26 years ago, 26 years ago, I came to St. Louis and interviewed to be the CEO of Stiefel. I was one of four candidates. I got the job. I was brilliant. I learned later, <laughs> I learned later that the other three candidates turned the job down. <laughs> it's a true story. <laughs> might have embellished, it might have been two, but three is a better, better story. You know, what, was that good luck? Or was it hard work? Which was it? What drove that moment of success for me? What's that? All right. <laughs> well, students, you know, I believe that success often and mostly does occur at the intersection of hard work and good luck. So you can't be lucky if you don't work hard and vice versa. So next, empathy. You know, as it relates to empathy, allow me a moment to not only address our students, but also share my thoughts with everyone here in the room. Unfortunately, you have to sit there and I have the mic, so I get to talk for a second, because society today is polarized. And I say that to the students, and I say that to all of us. And to me, I think it really does come from a lack of empathy. Think about it. Polemics on TV, in infective uh, on social media, it's so easy for all of us to find an echo chamber that resonates only 
only with the views that we have. We just only turn into certain TV channels. We only go to the echo chambers that resonate with our views. And as I said on the video, we can be better, much better as a country and a society if we listen. More importantly, listen to the people you most disagree with, most disagree with. Listen and understand. I believe that. Under, empathy requires understanding other people's viewpoints. You don't necessarily have to agree, but we need to listen. To me, as my mother told me from being a very young child, the golden rule. And that's the most important. So what's amazing is what I see from all these young people. I went out to Chesterfield, I had a great time. But what I saw was their capacity for empathy. And for this reason, I am optimistic, very optimistic about the future path of our country and frankly, the world. Why? Because these young people, you just have to admit how exciting they are just to listen to them and what they, how they view the world. I will say one thing, though, to the people. I want to challenge these uh, JA for next year. We are going to raise a lot more money. I'm going to tell you how we're going to do it to the kids. All right? We're going to raise a paddle, but we're going to put a kindergartner at every table and look. <laughs> okay? And they're just going to look at those of you that don't raise your paddle, and we will raise so money, much money next year. So that's my challenge to the JA students. So we're going to triple next year's tape, all right? So look, I believe to the students, your legacy, yes, legacy, will be determined. Think about it, not only by, by what you accomplish, but by those that you help along the way. So work hard, have empathy, always have fun along the way, and always be nice. So thank you very much for this honor. Thank you.